Hello grade 10 mabuhay. So again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario. And ang topic na inidiscuss natin ngayong araw ay under lesson 2 of our K-12 Learners Module which is all about uh, analyzing geometric sequences and series. Okay, so dinivide ko yung topic na to in many parts para mas maintindihan nyo ng maigi kung ano ba yung geometric sequence. Okay. So, for this video, we will be discussing what is geometric sequence, the rule for a geometric sequence, and how do you find the nth term given the two, two or more terms. Okay. Geometric sequence, by definition, is the ratio of any term to its previous terms is constant. Kapag sinabi natin ratio, uh, ibig sabihin lang yan, kapag dinivide natin yung dalawang magkasunod na term, makakakuha tayo ng the same answer sa kahit anong term ng ating geometric sequence. Again, pag sinabi natin um, yung ratio ng, ating, uh, ng any two term ng ating uh, geometric sequence, okay, Kapag dinivide natin yon, makakakuha tayo ng the same answer sa kahit anong term ng ating geometric sequence. This means you multiply by the same number to get each term. At yung number na yon na constant, imumultiply natin doon sa previous term para makuha natin yung next term. At yung tawag sa number na yon ay common ratio. Again, yung common ratio, imumultiply natin each term para makuha natin yung next term. Let's say for example, let us first decide whether each sequence is geometric. So, tignan natin kung ang mga susunod na sequences ay geometric or not. Let's say, for example, we have the given 4, negative 8, 16, and negative 32. So, para malaman natin kung geometric sequence siya, dapat meron siyang tinatawag na common ratio. Okay, let's check kung meron tayong common ratio. So, una, let us first divide, let us first divide negative 8 by 4. So, negative 8 divided by 4 equals negative 2. followed by 16 divided by negative 8. So, 16 divided by negative 8 equals negative 2. So, magkamuka. Followed by negative 32 divided by 16. So, we have negative 32 divided by 16 equals negative 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, lahat ng nakuha nating sagot or ratio ay magkakamuka. So, that means for negative 8, 16 negative 32 is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of negative 2. Again, so kapag ginawa nyo yun, dapat magkakamuka yung sagot. The reason why it is called common ratio kasi magkakamuka yung magiging sagot kapag dinivide natin yung dalawang magkasunod na term. Let us have another example. So we have 3, 9, negative 27, negative 81, and 243. Let us first divide 9 by 3. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Let us have negative 27 divided by 9 equals negative 3. Negative 81 divided by negative 27 equals 3. 243 divided by negative 81 equals negative 3. The, uh, we got 3, negative 3, 3, negative 3. So, ang sagot natin ay magkaiba. Hindi siya constant. So, wala siyang common ratio. That means, this is not a geometric sequence because it do not have a common ratio. So, let us tell whether the sequence is geometric. Let us explain why or why not. Okay, the first one is 81, 27, 9, 3, and 1. So, to tell, to decide whether a sequence is geometric, find the ratios of consecutive forms. So, i-multiply natin yung ating 
a sub 2 by a sub a sub 2 by a sub 1 a sub 3 by a sub 2 a sub 4 by a sub 3 a sub 5 by a sub 4 again we denote the first term as a sub 1 the second term as a sub 2 the third term as a sub 3 and so on and so forth okay so let us first divide 27 by 81 so 27 divided by 81 is equal to 3 over 9 okay 3 over 9 or we can express it as 1 third next we have a sub 3 which is 9 and our a sub 2 which is 27 so 9 divided by 27 is equal to 3 over 9 which is equal to 1 third followed by a sub 4 divided by a sub 3 so we have a sub 4 which is equal to 3 and a sub 3 which is equal to 9 and 3 over 9 is equal to 1 third so the next is a sub 5 divided by a sub 4 which is equal to our a sub 5 is 1 and our a sub 4 is 3 which is equal to 1 third nakakuha tayo ng 1 third na sagot sa lahat so that means this is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of one third. In example number two, we have one, two, six, twenty four, and one, twenty. Okay, let's tell whether a sequence is geometric. So the first thing we are going to do is to find the ratios of consecutive terms. So sinabi consecutive, yung magkasunod na terms. Ha? So the first one is 2 divided by 1 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 120 divided by 24 is 5. We do not have common ratio, so that means this sequence is not a geometric sequence. Okay, let us talk about the rule for a geometric sequence. Pag sinabi nating rule, dito na papasok yung nth term ng ating geometric sequence. At yung rule na gagamitin natin ay yun yung uh, end na sagot na i-apply natin para makuha natin yung iba't ibang term ng geometric sequence. So, ang nth term ng geometric sequence ay a sub n equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, let's analyze the formula. So, sinabi natin a sub n, this could be any term of the sequence. Pwede siyang a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, or kahit anong term ng sequence. Equals a sub 1, where a sub 1 is our first term. r is our common ratio raised to n minus 1. Let us have an example. So example, write a rule for the nth term of the sequence 5 to 0 0.8, 0 0.32. Then find, pag kanawa natin yung rule, hahanapin natin yung ating a sub 8. Okay, so dito me medyo komplikado yung nabigay natin yung example kasi decimal siya. So on the succeeding uh, videos, magbibigay ako doon ng maraming example ng geometric sequence Iba't iba, may fraction, may decimal, may, neg may negative and positive. So, mag-set tayo ng rule and then we are going to look for our a sub 8. Okay, first is to find our common ratio. So, para makuha natin yung common ratio, magdi-divide tayo ng dalawang magkasunod na term. So, for our common ratio, we are going to divide 2 by 5. Again, ginamit ko lang sila. Pero pwede nyo gamitin yung 0 0.8 divided by 2 or 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.8. So, for our common ratio, we are going to divide 2 by 5 and that is equal to 0 0.4. You may use your calculator to verify whether your answer is correct. And then, isa substitute natin sa formula. So, a sub n equals our a sub 1 is 5, our common ratio is 4, raised to n minus 1. Okay, para makuha natin yung a sub 8, we are just going to use our rule. And then, papalitan lang natin yung n ng 8. Okay, so a sub 8, instead of using a sub n, equals 5 times 
0 0.4 raised to 8 minus 1. And raised to 8 minus 1 is raised to 7. So we have a sub a equals 5 times 0 0.4 raised to 7. a sub 8 equals 5 times 0 0.4 raised to 7. You may use your calculator is equal to 0 0.001638 times 5 is simply a sub 8 equals 0 0.008192. Next, we are going to write a rule for the nth term of the sequence, then find a sub 7. So, ilusulat muna natin yung ating rule. So, using yung ating formula na... Okay. So, the sequence is geometric with its... So, na-identify na nga natin na geometric sequence siya. Ang first term niya or a sub 1 is 4. Ang common ratio niya, so we are going to divide 20 by 4 which is 5. So, a rule for the nth term is, we are going to write a general rule. So, using our formula a sub n equals a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1, papalitan lang natin lahat ng ating pwedeng palitan dyan. So, we have a sub n. We are going to substitute 4 for a sub 1 and 5 for our r or our common ratio. Okay. So, we have a sub n equals 4 times 5 raised to n minus 1. And then, we are going to substitute, we are going to look for our a sub 7 or our 7th term. So, our 7th term is a sub 7 equals 4 times 5 a union. Tapos, yung n papalitan natin ng 7 minus 1. So, it will become 4 times 5 raised to 6. And 4 times 5 raised to 6 is simply 62,500. Write a rule for the nth term of the sequence, then find a sub 7 again. The first thing is we have to identify whether it is a geometric. So this is a geometric with uh, a sub 1, which is equal to 152, and your common ratio niya is negative 70, 65 by 152 is equal to negative 1 half. So ito yung rule ng ating nth term. So, using our formula again, is a substitute lang natin yung 152 for a sub 1 and negative 1 half for our r. So, that means we have 152 times negative 1 half raised to n minus 1. So, we, since we are looking for a sub 7 or a 7th term, papalitan natin yung n ng 7. Okay, so we have the 7th term is a sub 7, 152 times negative 1 half raised to 7 minus 1, which is 6. So 152 times negative 1 half raised to 6 is equal to 19 over 8. So that is our 7th term. Okay, so to summarize the topic, what is geometric sequence? So geometric sequence is a sequence where the ratio of any term of the previous term is constant. And last is, what is the rule for a geometric sequence? So, in rule natin or nth term of geometric sequence is simply a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is any term of the sequence, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio raised to n minus 1. Okay, so that's all for today. Dun ko muna, dito ko muna ikakat yung ating topic sa ating geometric sequence. Please feel free to watch. Don't forget to like the video and comment on the video if you have any question regarding our topic. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you for watching.